Now, we've seen they've got the means to survive in our chilly waters, but what about a motive? Is there enough food to tempt great whites to our coastline? There's a much larger predator on the loose. Rumours that a shark is developing predated upon by a large predator. In March 2005, the media reported that a large number of dead porpoises with what appeared to be large bite marks were washed up on the Durham coastline. The story sparked a lot of interest, and killer sharks were blamed. But what was the truth behind the headlines? Bob Munnies is one of the country's leading vets dealing with stranded animals. When dead porpoises and dolphins get washed up on our beaches, it's up to Bob and his team to investigate the cause of death. I've been in my current posts for the last 11 years, uh, and in which time I've probably carried out some 300 post-mortems on stranded marine mammals. During the post-mortem, um, we take various measurements, such as weight, length, um, blubber thickness, to assess the nutritional state of the animal. By far, the most common cause of death is entrapment in fishing gear, whereby the um, porpoise or dolphin um, is asphyxiated by being held underneath the water. But is there a predator out there that could be killing our dolphins and porpoises? We've realised for, for quite a long time now that harbour porpoises in particular can be the victim of, of bullying by um, bottlenose dolphins. And on occasion, we do see porpoises which have been badly bruised and died as a result of it. But I can't recall in the last 11 years having seen anything uh, which would look remotely like damage inflicted by a shark. So what did happen to the Durham porpoises? Well, there's no doubt that dolphins and porpoises are potential prey for great whites. But in this case, it seems that sharks were not to blame. It's most likely that the porpoises were victims of bycatch, cut free from their nets and tossed back in the water. And the apparent bite marks were caused by seagulls and other scavengers pecking away at any exposed flesh. 